Hello there. Morning all. So, as you know, we're recording the new album at the moment. Um, now, the music's just one aspect of, uh, of putting the album together, because obviously, uh, many of you know, we like to put, uh, we like to put songbooks together as well, uh, with photography and stories about the songs. And uh, today, we're out down, uh, down in Worth with Travers, heading down to Windspit to go and find a photograph for the song Paulswell, mm -hmm. which is uh, which is about the, the worst shipping disaster to hit the Isle of Purbeck. So we're going to go down and try and find something called Hallswell Rock, which is where uh, which is where a number of the sailors of this particular wreck uh, sheltered before they were lifted out of the water. So more on that story uh, in a little bit. We've got to navigate some mud uh, before we try desperately not to slip over. Well. I try not to drop video. the camera. That's the uh, that's the general <laughs> idea. True to form, uh, it started raining, <laughs> which yeah. it feels kind of appropriate for this particular uh, expedition, I suppose, because the uh, this, this ship went down on the on the sixth of January, uh, 1786, uh, in a blizzard, and uh, thankfully it's not that cold today. But, whoa, uh, <laughs> Sorry, but it's just as treacherous. It's just as treacherous <laughs> on the rocks. Um, but yeah, I mean, this this ship uh, ran aground uh, because essentially it became uncontrollable out on the water. They they had it was three masted ship, and uh, when the storm hit, they should have they should have gone aloft these sailors and furled the sails. But there's a belief that there was discontent within the crew. This. Uh, this, this whole thing has been detailed in a book called The Unfortunate Captain Pierce, uh, which was the name of the captain in charge of this ship. Uh, so Philip Brown, the author, kind of describes the fact that the sailors refused to go aloft and in the end it was the, it was the soldiers that were kind of left to, to do a lot of the jobs that should have been done by trained sailors. But anyway, uh, eventually this ship was left uncontrollable. In the middle of this blizzard, so it's a, a, an East Indiaman ship, it's a three-masted ship, so it's pretty blooming big. And obviously the wind is whipping the ship towards the rocks, and they don't really know what to do because they've missed their opportunity to furl the sails. And so they decided to chop one of the masts down, thinking that there'd be less sort of force for the wind to, to sort of catch and to whip them towards the rocks, but it wasn't working. So they decided to chop the second one down as well. And, uh, and this is with a damaged rudder as well, so... It wasn't, yeah, not doing particularly well. It's not looking yet. great for them at this point. <laughs> uh, but the second mast gets caught and drags behind the ship when it gets caught among the rigging. Um, and then the storm takes the third one. So, all in all, not a particularly good outcome. For no. You want to hop around the mud? Uh, and it... <laughs> and 168 people lose their lives in the water, being, being dashed upon the rocks. Uh, so, we've come to take some shelter, to be honest, because it's absolutely tipping it down now. We don't want our camera to get massively wet. No, so, so we are in some of the quarry caves. I mean, this is where the, the story gets a bit interesting. Well, I'll turn it around, because behind me, I'm probably a shadow now, but you could probably see behind me, those are the, the remains of the old quarry houses. Now, the, these are the people that the, uh, that the people on board the Hallswell were trying to alert. Now, it, this storm was absolutely raging, and they tried absolutely everything to, to alert these, uh, these quarry folk, all the way down to letting off all the cannon on, on, on the ship uh, off uh, in order to try and... Uh, alert these people to the fact that there was a disaster taking place. I must give you some idea of how loud this storm was, the fact that all the cannons couldn't be heard above the roar of the storm. No, which is quite amazing really. So in the end, uh, it was left to the sailors to try and, well, try and last out the storm. And there's a cave we're hoping to maybe get a shot of uh, and, and, and Hallswell Rock, where a lot of the sailors that had leapt overboard uh, tried to shelter down there, but essentially they were being dashed against the cliff face. Um, but a couple of sailors managed to make it up the cliffs. Now we're going to head over there in a moment and try. Show you exactly how much rock they had to climb. Indeed, indeed. So uh, we'll might just shelter here 
for a little, for a bit. little bit longer. Otherwise we'll have no camera to actually take any photos. <laughs> so I'm going to shout because it's pretty windy. Um, but you can see the sea behind us there. Um, amazing. It is absolutely brilliant today. Um, even today, uh, swelling out there, but it must pale in comparison to what it was like on the 6th of January. Um, we stood on the on the rock shelf really out of Winspet. Behind the camera um, is Seacombe, the Seacombe Quarry, further down the coast. Uh, so we're going to head a little bit further down and see if we can get a shot of uh, a Paul's Well Rock. We think we're pretty much here behind me, kind of looking down the coast there. Uh, that's looking out to Seacombe. And down there, one of those rocks. Possibly the one at about 45 degrees might well be Hallswell Rock, but the long and short of it is that uh, it was down in the water down there that uh, many of these sailors leapt off the Hallswell and uh, they found themselves faced with those cliffs and um, with this storm raging around them, uh, almost, almost impossible. But a couple of them did manage to get to the top and they did manage to alert the quarrymen and those quarrymen came out and uh, with rope hand over fist managed to lift 88 people out of the water 82 of which survived uh, which is quite an amazing story so we think we've got a pretty good shot so uh, it's been a worthwhile trip and hopefully you've enjoyed <laughs> Hopefully you've enjoyed hearing a little bit more uh, about the halls well. And uh, we're off to the square and compass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely off to the square and compass for a pint and a pie now. So. Mm -hmm. uh,